time to draw close to the mystery of Christmas. As we prepare to enter this great mystery, we are all on our own way to Bethlehem. Let's go with the prophets, Mary and Joseph, the shepherds, the animals, the angels, the magi, the star, and the rest. They will show us the way on this journey that was not just back then, but is also now. Once in royal David's city stood a lowly cattle shed where a mother laid her baby in a manger for his bed. Mary was that mother. foretold of a wonderful event, the coming of a Prince of Peace, who would be the Son of God and would bring hope to all the world. Isaiah said these things. Comfort, O oh comfort, my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. See, the Lord God comes with might and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. The people who walked in the darkness have seen a great light. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, his authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David in his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice, and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. Many years passed before the words of the prophets were fulfilled. bestowed upon a woman. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favorite one. Greetings, favorite one. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. She was perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greetings this might be. Do not be afraid, Mary. Do not be afraid, Mary. For you have found favor with God. You have found favor with God. And now you will conceive. 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 And now you will conceive. In your womb and... 
bear and some. And we'll name him Jesus. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power in the most high it will overshadow will overshadow you. Therefore therefore the child be born will be holy will be holy. Called the Son of God. He be son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth and her old ages have conceived the son. This is the sixth month of her was said who who was said or said the born to be barren for nothing will be impossible with God. Well, nothing will be really impossible with God. With God. Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. The angel departed from her. years ago was a seemingly unimportant event, the birth of a child in a lowly manger in Bethlehem. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered, and all went to their own towns to be enrolled. And Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. There was no place for them in the inn in Bethlehem, and so it was that she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger.
Among the few who first heard of the birth of the Christ child were some humble shepherds in the hills near Bethlehem. In that region there were shepherds living in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and wine in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels left, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem to see the thing that has taken place that the Lord has made known to us. Shepherds were not the only worshippers at the manger. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, we three sages from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we have observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened. Oh no! The birth of Jesus threatened his power. He told us to look for the baby in Bethlehem and report back to him. Go find that baby now! We set out with the star ahead of us. Finally, the star stopped over the place where Jesus was. We saw the star had stopped over a humble scene. A mother and her baby were lying in the sweet hay. We knelt before the Holy Family and offered our gifts. And I brought gold because the baby is a king. I brought frankincense because the baby will be a priest for all the people. I brought myrrh, a burial spice, because Jesus would show us love through sacrifice. That night we each had the same dream, and we were warned not to return to King Herod, so we left for our own country by another road.
heard and seen. As we celebrate Christmas this year, may we too go on our way with praise and wonder in our hearts, giving glory to God for the gift of love given to us in Christ. Amen. Amen.